What should you do when you experience phlegm on your voice and you just need to clear it up? Well, here are my best tips. The most important thing is don't continuously and constantly do this. <clears throat> because this will trigger a chain reaction of your body producing even more mucus and you will just never really get rid of it. Plus, it's really bad on your vocal cords. So number one is to warm up your voice. It's my number one hack that I always use. When I have any amount of phlegm on my voice, I warm up first. That means throughout my entire range, I start soft, start with humming. When you feel any phlegm loosening up, take a little drink and see if it goes away. If it does not, do a little bit more vibrating. When you feel it's really loose, do one very quick <clears throat> and swallow. That will usually get rid of it. But what you want to do is you don't want to forcefully... <clears throat> clear the mucus and push it off your vocal cords. You want blood flow in the vocal cords because that usually gets rid of all the phlegm. So going through your range, yay, sirens, woo, woo, no, 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 no. And what really helps me is to, number one, warm up my entire body, i.e. doing some kind of a physical exercise to get my heart rate up and drinking warm tea, not hot. Cup number two is tea. I always have water, tea. <laughs> and this is warm tea, not too hot. Anything that does not irritate your vocal cords. So either warm water with fresh ginger in it. This is really awesome. I love this because it gets your circulation going or any herb. Peppermint is great. Chamomile is great. You don't want to use black tea because that is slightly irritating. You also don't want to use anything with milk because that could also be irritating and create more mucus. Be mindful of the foods and the drinks you consume right before singing or even generally if you are someone who is sensitive to some foods or drinks. Just don't even consume them if you have a good amount of singing to do. For me personally, Really, nothing bothers my vocal cords too much, but I am still mindful of what I consume right around the time that I want to sing. Whatever you do, just don't batter your vocal cords. <clears throat> this is horrible. This puts so much pressure against your vocal cords and it's just not healthy. It's just going to make everything worse. Loosen the mucus, loosen the phlegm, and then do a very gentle clearing. <clears throat> Swallow it. What also helps is to keep a nice open space in the back of your throat because la, 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 la. Now that is not mucus. That is just my vocal cords not closing all the way. So you want to make sure you have a nice open space. Think of the beginning of a yawn. Ah, when I hear any amount of dirt in my voice that sounds kind of flummy and I have done everything that I just mentioned before, It is probably something that has to do with my technique and I need to open up more. Hello. Hello. Now that is vocal fry. That is not actually mucus. Hello. Clear and clean. If you want to know how to lay a strong foundation for your singing voice so you can sound amazing, you can download my free ebook. I will put the link below. And this is it for today. Until next time, my friends. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.